Are you stuck in the middle-class money maze wondering why it's so hard to break free? Life often feels like a labyrinth of financial decisions where every turn could either lead you to prosperity or trap you in a never-ending cycle of paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck living. What if I told you that the very traps that are keeping you stuck are not as obscure as you might think? Imagine walking down a street in your neighborhood. You see a house with a freshly painted exterior, a new SUV in the driveway, and a well-manicured lawn. It's easy to assume that the family living there is financially secure, right? But the truth is, appearances can be deceiving. This family could be trapped in the middle-class money maze, just like many of us. They might be earning a decent income, but are still living paycheck to paycheck, unable to break free from the cycle of financial stress. This is a common story among the middle class. We get caught in money traps that seem harmless or even beneficial at first, but they eventually lead us down a path of financial instability. The good news is that once we identify these traps, we can find our way out of the maze and towards financial freedom. Today we're going to delve into the concept of middle class money traps. These are the financial pitfalls that could be keeping us broke and preventing us from achieving our financial goals. These traps are often disguised as normal behaviors or societal expectations, which is why they can be so hard to spot. But once we shed light on them, we can start to see the bigger picture and make better financial decisions. We'll explore seven common money traps that the middle class often falls into, from lifestyle inflation and over-reliance on debt, to impulse spending habits and failure to save and invest. We'll also discuss the dangers of ignoring financial education, the negative impact of comparison culture, and the importance of emergency preparedness. Remember, the first step to breaking free from the middle-class money maze is understanding the traps that are keeping us stuck. With this knowledge, we can start to navigate our way towards financial stability and eventually financial freedom. Today, we're uncovering seven money traps that might be keeping you broke. Stay tuned as we journey through the middle-class money maze together. Have you ever noticed how your expenses seem to rise as your income does? This phenomenon known as lifestyle inflation can be a sneaky financial trap. As you earn more, it's tempting to spend more. You start thinking about upgrading your car, moving to a bigger house, or splurging on that luxury vacation. But what might seem like harmless upgrades can actually lead to long-term financial strain. Imagine this. You get a raise and decide to celebrate by buying a new car. Your monthly payments go up along with insurance and maintenance costs. Suddenly you're spending hundreds more each month and that extra income isn't stretching as far as you thought it would. The same can happen with other upgrades like moving to a more expensive neighborhood or frequently dining at high-end restaurants. These lifestyle inflations eat into your income, leaving less for savings and investments. So remember, increasing income doesn't necessarily have to mean increasing expenses. Credit cards and loans can be helpful, but they can also be a slippery slope. It's easy to fall into the trap of using these financial instruments to sustain a middle-class lifestyle. But let's pause for a moment. What happens when the interest starts piling up? Suddenly that new car financed on a loan isn't just costing you the sticker price, it's costing you the price plus interest. And that interest, it's not just a one-time fee, it compounds, growing larger and larger, eating away at your financial stability. Before you know it, you're not just paying for a car, you're paying for the privilege of having borrowed money. And if you're not careful, that privilege can cost you more than you bargained for. High interest debt can have a profound impact on your long-term financial health, leaving you struggling to keep your head above water. Debt is like a tool. It's all about how you use it. Have you ever bought something on a whim only to regret it later? We've all been there, right? That's impulse spending, a common habit that often leads to financial traps. It's easy to justify a small, unplanned purchase, but over time, these add up and can significantly impact your financial health. Now let's talk about how to curb these impulsive behaviors. First, try implementing a cooling off period. If you see something you want, give it a day or two before you buy. Often the urge to purchase will pass. Second, avoid shopping as a form of entertainment. By finding other ways to spend your time, you can reduce the temptation to make impulse buys. Lastly, make a habit of asking yourself three questions before any purchase. Do I need this? Can I afford this? Is this the best price for this item? This simple exercise can make a world of difference in your spending habits. Making mindful financial decisions can be your key to escape this trap. 
Do you find it hard to set aside money for your future? It's a common challenge, yet one that carries significant implications. Let's talk about savings and investments. These aren't just fancy financial terms. They are the pillars that uphold your financial future. Think of it this way. Savings are your safety net, and investments are your growth engine. Neglecting either of these can leave you hanging by a thread in times of economic uncertainties. When you fail to save or invest, you're not just missing out on potential earnings, you're also putting your financial stability at risk. You're allowing your money to stagnate instead of putting it to work. And folks, money is an excellent worker if you give it the right job. So don't let your hard-earned money sit idle. Channel it into saving and investing avenues that align with your financial goals and risk appetite. Remember, every penny saved and invested today can multiply and become your financial cushion tomorrow. Your future self will thank you for the financial decisions you make today. Do you feel confused by financial jargon and concepts? This bewilderment can be a sneaky trap invisibly draining your wealth. Ignoring financial education is a pitfall that many stumble into, and it's one that can have lasting repercussions. Like a foreign language, the world of finance has its own vocabulary and rules. Understanding these terms and principles is crucial to making informed decisions about your money. Without this knowledge, you may find yourself falling prey to schemes that promise quick riches or investments that seem too good to be true. Financial literacy is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's about knowing how to manage, grow, and protect your wealth. It's about understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, between good and bad debt, between short-term gains and long-term stability. So, let's break free from this trap. Seek out knowledge, read books, attend seminars, engage in online courses, equip yourself with the tools to navigate the financial landscape. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay financially healthy. Do you feel pressure to keep up with the Joneses? This pressure, my friends, is what we call comparison culture. It's a trap that can keep you stuck in a financial rut. We live in a society where it's easy to compare our financial status with others. We see their new cars, dream vacations, and trendy clothes, and we can't help but feel the need to match up. But here's the thing. Constantly comparing ourselves to others only leads to financial stress. It makes us spend money we don't have on things we don't need to impress people we don't even like. Instead, let's cultivate a healthier mindset. Let's focus on our own financial goals and progress. Let's celebrate our financial victories, no matter how small they may seem. After all, personal finance is just that, personal. Remember, your financial journey is unique to you. What would you do if a sudden financial emergency hit today? It's a question that might make you squirm a little, but it's a crucial one to consider. See, an often overlooked money trap is neglecting emergency preparedness. It's about more than just having a rainy day fund. It's about securing your financial stability against life's unpredictable curveballs. Without a safety net of savings, unexpected expenses can lead to reliance on debt. Imagine your car breaking down or a sudden medical expense. Without an emergency fund, these costs can send you spiraling into debt, compromising your financial well-being. But here's the good news. You can start small, save what you can when you can, over time, aim to build an emergency fund that could cover three to six months of living expenses. It might seem like a daunting task, but remember, it's not about the size of the fund, but the security it provides. An emergency fund is not just a buffer, it's a lifeline. Now that we've uncovered these traps, it's time to take action. Don't let yourself be ensnared by the pitfalls of lifestyle inflation, over-reliance on debt, impulse spending, a lack of savings and investment, ignorance of financial education, the comparison culture, or a lack of emergency preparedness. Knowledge is power, and now that you're aware of these traps, you're better equipped to navigate the middle-class money maze. If you found value in this video, hit that like button to let us know. Sharing this content with others can help them avoid these traps too. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content aimed at helping you break free from financial constraints. We'd love to hear your experiences or insights on this topic. Have you fallen into one of these traps before? Or perhaps you've successfully overcome one? Share your story in the comments below. Remember, financial freedom is not a destination, it's a journey. And we're here to guide you every step of the way.